The senior class is hosting a Sweet Frog fundraiser on Wednesday, April 14th from 12 to 9 p.m. at the Fayetteville Town Center location. Share your flyer or mention your support to this cashier to earn us credit. Yesterday, President Biden signed a number of executive orders in an attempt to help reduce the number of mass shootings that have occurred. This includes directing the Department of Justice to, cr to craft an uncraftable ghost gun and publish the examples of red flag. Legislated from the state to follow, in his address from Rose Garden speech, he stated, this is an epidemic for God's sake and it has to stop. On Thursday in South Carolina, Philip Adams, a former NFL player, shot and killed a doctor and four other people. York County Sheriff Kevin Tolson said that Philip Adams shot two air conditioner technicians outside, killing one and then forced himself into Dr. Robert Leslie's home in Rock Hill, South Carolina. He then shot and killed the doctor and his wife, Barbara Leslie, along with their two grandchildren, ages five and nine. Adams was later found dead of a self-inflicted gunshot wound in the bedroom of the home. In another mass shooting yesterday, one person was killed and five were wounded at the cabinet manufacturer in Bryan, Texas. The gun was believed to be an employee of the company, Kentmore Cabinets, fled before police arrived and was taken later into custody. 27-year-old Larry Winston Bolin also shot a Texas state trooper who was serious but in stable condition as they were apprehending him. Bolin was booked in Brazos County Jail and charged with murder. He is currently being held for a $1 million bond. This morning in the Buckingham Palace announced that passing of Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, and lifelong companion of the Britons, Queen Elizabeth, and 99 years old. In this statement, the palace said he passed away peacefully at the Windsor Castle. The plans for the tribute of the events following Piss Prince Philip's death have, been, have not been announced, and the Queen has not yet known if the Queen has signed off on any plans. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning everyone. Today we'll have a high of 70 with a few showers. On Saturday, expect it to be quite warm and some sun and clouds. Sunday will start to cool down and have rain showers. Next week, there will be cool temperatures in the mid 50s to low 60s. So far, every day looks to have rain. I'm Emily with your weather. In upcoming games, the girls volleyball team plays tonight at Fulton. Over the weekend, the girls volleyball team plays again at home against West Jenny. The boys volleyball team also plays at home against Oswego. The track team has a meet at home against CNS. And then on Monday, the boys volleyball team plays at Nottingham. The ESM Unified Bowling team had its first match of the season yesterday at Green Lakes Bowl. The team will complete, vir complete, complete virtually and report team scores to the Unified League after each match. The boys varsity volleyball team defeated Living Ward Academy last night three games to one. Leading the way was senior outside hitter Aiden Finnery with 17 kills, senior middle Brocker Nick Brown had 12 kills, and senior setter Devin Moscato Buffalo recorded 37 assists in the win. ESM is currently in first place with them in the Class A C S C A C Empire Division and will face Oswego on Saturday as both teams are undefeated within league play. 
Syracuse lacrosse team last night beat Albany 13-8. Brendan Curry and Chase Scanlon both led the team with hat tricks. The results after day one of the Masters. Justin Rose is in the lead with seven under par. Tied for second is Brian Harmon, three under par. Tied for second as well is Hideki Matsumura, three under par. And at four, Will Zorales at two under par. I'm Tanner Lee Sports.